All right, so let's uh let's make some coffee. Hey. Yes, let's do that. Because oh. I feel like we've got some serious conflict coming up. Yes. All right. With these hacktivists, we're gonna need some uh, coffee. All right, yep, rest up. So I've never played a uh, Persona 5 game before. Uh, I think most of you know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how the, the summertime is handled. Uh, will we have more opportunities each day during the summer to uh, build our confidant levels, things like that? I'm Good curious. Morning. Kasumi, every day is so hot. I empty my water bottle so fast. By the way, summer break is coming up. Could I ask what your plans are, Senpai? Oh, got nothing. I see. Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance. I see. Then maybe we'll have a chance to practice some more. I'm sure I'll be sure to give you proper instruction. Just let me know whenever you're available, Senpai. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going. Your phone's buzzing. Thank you, Morgana. Did Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. <laughs> your, your nemesis, huh, Morgana? <clears throat> Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Yeah, I'm curious. Alibaba might end up being a, uh, being a, being an asset. We'll see. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? I don't know if it's going to be Ryuji again. I don't think so. Good day. Who is this? Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You are leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? That's right. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty. I take it you received the calling card? So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? I'm in class. Hmm, you're a surprisingly diligent student. Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you going to steal it? Steal from who? So we don't even know who this guy is, or girl. Who they're wanting us to target. What do you mean by that? Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling card? Tell him. We need the name of the target. What's the target's name? A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? It is. I see. Hmm. I'm supposed... I'm supposed past calling cards didn't have names on them. One moment. Very well, I'll tell you. I believe their name was Futaba Sakura. If you fail on this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and the police. Well then, I'll be counting on you. We shall speak again after the heart change of heart. Uh, who is Futaba Sakura? You know, it'd be good to know if, if this is actually in line with our motives for going after other uh, individuals. Make sure this is not just some, like, uh, political attack or something like that. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. <clears throat> In any case, we should let everyone know about this. Mm hmm. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? Futaba Sakura? Maybe one of these Wasn't guys will know. Oh, here we go. It's boss's last name! What? Does he have any family? Does he? For reals? How laid back are you? Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Oh, wow. Well, his situation does make things difficult. So is it a, a father or a sibling? 
this could be one of the reasons why we've been seeing Sai hang out at the uh, at the coffee shop. Calling card was delivered to boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Hmm. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. Yeah, you think, Makoto? You mean this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. Hmm. Exactly. So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. Mm-hmm. This could get this could get sticky. Hmm? What's up? Who's Futaba Sakura? Why did you know about that? Mm. Mm. It's got nothing to do with you. Oh boy. Sore spot. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Hmm. Looks like it's a hit. Oh, I just remembered. Stacker, were you able to ask about boss? Ask boss about Futaba Sakura? Mm, he didn't want to talk. Could there be a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope of defeating Medjed. I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. But try and force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to boss and stacker. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. It's probably best to wait for boss to bring the subject up himself. Okay, so don't think we'll be able to go out again. No, so we're gonna be kind of limited for a little bit here. Uh, more coffee, I guess. Yep, let's do it. Not gonna worry too much about any kind of studying or anything right now. Let's just do some. Yes. Stock up on supplies. All right. Well then. A big day tomorrow, you're telling me, sir. Yo. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. About this Futaba Sakura girl. If she's related to oh, boss... Oh, it's a, it's a female. People living okay. Nearby would know huh. About Shows you how much you know about the, the Japanese naming nomenclature system. That's some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I never want to think about exams ever again. Anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. Then again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Well, we'll see what we can do, sir. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, this guy. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. There's been an unusual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over the break. Like what, Mr. Ushimaru? Getting hit in the head with chalk? Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the Red Light District, and don't go to the beach after dark. I want to go to the beach. I want to jump in some cold water. <sighs> Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Mm. Ryuchi might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. We've, we've got nothing to lose. Let's head on to Yongin and gather info around the neighborhood. 
Futaba? Futaba, yes. I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Ah, yes. That was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Let's ask other people, too. <coughs> okay, all right. We got a few people up here we can talk to. Oops, excuse me, pardon me. Oh, oh, let's talk to him. Futaba? No, no, I don't know how that could be. Okay. Do, do, do. Futaba? Who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Mm, hey, I'm a grown boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? You must have quite the appetite. What? You're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's boss who eats a lot then. Let's ask some other people too. <coughs> Futaba? Who's that? I don't think I didn't know anybody by that name. Hmm. But wouldn't this Futaba get angry if they found out you're snooping on them though? Hmm. Well. Let's see who else we got, if anybody. Do, do. What is this? Oh, it's a baton cage. Yeah, we don't need to. I I don't. Uh, ah, here we go. Here's somebody. No. Oh. Sakura san single, right? I thought he didn't have any children. Sass. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well. Did you want to listen in? You think that Phantom Thieves are a danger to society? Send us your pins by email or fax. What's this rubbish about Phantom Thieves? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. All right. Okay. All right, so that's all we got from him. Hmm. Let's see, did we miss anybody? No, young and although I don't know, maybe. Hmm, a vintage game console. Could I actually sell it if I threw some games? Not really sure anyone would buy a game console this old, though. Can I help you? Do you know Futaba Sakura? Futaba? We do get the occasional young and coming and poking around, but I'm afraid I don't know them by that name. Mm. Interesting. Who are we missing? Probably some, somebody tucked away in an alcove somewhere. <coughs> I mean, we could try some of the areas like the shops and stuff, but I don't think. I mean, maybe. Maybe we got to go into one of the... Ah, oh, here's somebody. Oh, here we go. Futaba? Hmm, nope. Don't know anything like, like that. I come to Sakara-san's often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Hmm. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. All right. Well, all right. Let's start with the uh, the grocery store or whatever, the market here. This place is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm. <coughs> Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Come again. Well, there's mm. that. We didn't find anything on food. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna go well. Well, look who's here. You read the letter, did you not? So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? Hmm. What? Is it his daughter? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. 
I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. Hmm. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. <sighs> What's with that look? You got something to say? Custody? This doesn't involve you. Is Futaba your daughter? Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. You got that? Lock the store up. Hmm, that didn't go well. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? Cognitive science? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. Yeah. Yo, how'd it go? You find anything about Futaba Sakura? I've been wondering about that too. At the hideout, okay? Whoa! So you did learn something. Fine work. I know we can count on you. Stackercoon, thank you. All right, then we'll, let's meet up tomorrow. Yeah, except you're not I'll gonna be happy with what we found. I'm just saying, man. Just saying. Okay. Yep. Let's do some more coffee. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. Yes. All right. Yes. Well then. A woman was threatening boss. Yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Not just any woman. Your sister, Makoto. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter, and he's abusing her? Well, we don't know he's abusing her. I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and you to and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? I told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you didn't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious here. A selfish person. Hmm. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about. Does she have a palace? Palace? What are you talking about palaces for? That has nothing to do with this conversation. Mm hmm. This guy or girl doesn't obviously doesn't know as much as they're letting on. Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the issue? What are we supposed to do about this? We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Let's meet somewhere. Meet? With me? That will be difficult. I have reasons for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you like this. He can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay. It's a shame, but I'm calling this Dell off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Hmm. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Well, this is getting suspicious. Sorry for taking your time. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait, just like that? Who are you? I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. Why are you doing this? That's it. Hmm. Huh? 
did he just shut the whole operation down? Wow, that is just bizarre. This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Hmm. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. I just had a thought. What if the person contacting us, Alibaba, is the, the hacker girl we saw, we see occasionally? And what if that is Futaba? And she doesn't, she can't meet with us because then we'll find out that that's who that is. I don't know why she would want us to take her own heart. If that's the case, it's a weird theory, but just a thought. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. You mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? You do have a point. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! Oh wow! That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. <laughs> Gotta go eat something fit for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, how about sushi? I could really go for some eel, too. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. <laughs> you don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? Actually, definitely don't do it. I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Absolutely. Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Yeah, I still don't think we've heard the last from uh, Alibaba or about Futaba. We'll see though. I wonder if all that Medjed business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. If their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves, they should want to be acting now, given our fame. Well, unless they don't know who we are, they don't know how to even get at us. Huh? When you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us theatrically like that. Yes. However, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That is all we can do. Something's not right. <clears throat> I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, Yusuke is right. I'm sorry for bringing this up on the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. I hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I'll refrain from saying who though. You better not be talking about me. I should write something. Yep, yep. Save. And I don't think we'll try it, but I don't think I can go out yet. We're probably at a point in the game where it's kind of it's kind of streamlining us. Um, okay, let's do Yeah, we should we should every so often do some curry. Hmm. No, no curry. No no ingredients, so we'll just do coffee again. Yep. Hey. Yep. Yes! All right. Can never have too many SP restoring items, right? Well then. You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Medjid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? 
how about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd, but don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? See, I think Akechi's reasoning here, it's easy for him to be misguided and uh, misinterpreting what's going on because there is somebody else out there. We haven't heard about in, in a while, but the, the, the guy in the black mask. And it seems like that person is causing these psychotic breakdowns. So it's easy to see how these might be one and the same. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Aha. Uh -huh. So... Boss's daughter, Fakuba... Is that her name, Fakuba? Fakura? I can't remember now. It's hard for me to remember the names sometimes. Um... But it, they had a mental... She had a mental shutdown. Now that's interesting. Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? Hmm. No, not at all. Well then, <coughs> to our victory. Okay. Time for sushi. This place is in Ginza, right? Do we use, take the usual train for Shibuya? <coughs> nice. Okay. All right. Man, that looks good. The flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Huh. I, I don't see any prices listed here. Oh boy, that's scary. It's called market price. Don't worry about it, we got the cash. Oh my gosh. So good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses. And don't talk. By the way, is boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? I don't I don't think so. That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? No chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that, I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Hmm. Wait, you think Alibaba could be boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. <laughs> Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Hmm. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom oh, Beast. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Crap. Oh no. You idiot. Uh um the fan fantastic. This sushi is delicious. 
Yeah, the fish is so fresh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. You idiot. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website hmm. was updated just a moment ago. Oh, wow. For real? Die English again. Yeah. Wait, what? What's it say? Mm. Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um. She's uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Hmm. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Hmm. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Eh, uh, ignore them. That is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you got to say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. Scary to, to think about how how close spot on he is. He's good at his job. Even if In he has a, way, a high school student. All I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group you have here. Hmm. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. Never <laughs> use a Phantom Thief? No. Good to hear. <laughs> it seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. I'm sure you will, Akechi. What was <clears throat> that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, not be. yet, but... Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. Hmm. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Majed. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hmm. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. Cleanse Japan, that sounds uh, horrendous. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. Hmm. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. 
The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. <laughs> By causing evil, right? Yeah, sure. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. Hmm. What are we gonna do about this? Only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Hmm. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. Man, this is We went through all sorts escalating. of options on our way here, but looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. We don't even know who Alibaba is. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Hmm. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Hmm? Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Right. Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? Well, we're seeing behind the scenes and we know that somehow Alibaba, if that who this girl on this girl hacker is, can see and hear things we do. Or at least hear. You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. Hmm. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me Alibaba may in fact be Futaba <gasps> Hello. Himself. Oh, look at the foo, huh? Didn't I, didn't I guess that? For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Yeah, but the question is why? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we going to tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. <laughs> Tuna. No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Yeah, yeah, don't want don't want that. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here too. Oh. The gate is unlocked. Dude, you can't go open in other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. Uh-oh. I wonder why. That's rather careless. Whoa. It sounds like it's going to rain. We should get inside. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. Uh, probably. My apologies, boss. Oh my goodness. Hello, sir? Oh man, did something He's happen? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. <laughs> Scream? What was that? How should I know? Did you hear that? Let's get out of here, please! Can we just go? I thought what that was Anne screaming for? at first, but I guess not. I I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? Uh, sorry, um... Can I hold your hand? Uh... <laughs> Sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. What? No, no. I 
legs won't move. Oh man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please save me, sister. <laughs> Are you okay, Butaba? Crap, he's home. Who the hell are you? Don't move. Oh boy. Did you hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis. Somebody please save me. You? What are you doing in my house? Uh, You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. We... That we didn't mean to intrude... Oh boy, this is bad. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other? Oh boy. But that's not it. This... Um... Uh, things happened and... You kids are here too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked too. We could hear the TV though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? Huh? You want to ask me? Oh boy. There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. Uh-huh. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um, is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. Hmm. I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Hmm. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. What about her father? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. Hmm. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. She left? Yes. She committed suicide. Oof. <clears throat> suicide? Now it's starting to make a little sense. Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Now we know there's scars. And why, potentially, Futaba wants her heart stolen. Hmm. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So, well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she, she wouldn't even talk to me. 
Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. And that's when I found out Utaba blames herself for her mother's death. Hmm, that's terrible. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening. Hmm. She'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. Yeah, slightly. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. I understand. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Hmm. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. So if we can steal people's hearts based on I evil feel intentions, awful for prying into his personal affairs. Can we steal their hearts based on disordered uh, emotions that are causing them harm? Can it work that way too? No way in hell he's abusing her. No. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. Yeah, but is that possible? So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Well, it would be pretty... Uh be pretty good if we can get her on our side. She seems like she's got some resources. It's possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that going to be enough? I mean, that's a good bit of information. Let's see. Oh, wow. There we go. What the? She's got one. But what kind of palace does she have? So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? Uh-oh. I haven't seen him for some time. Oh, no. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Oh, boy. Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are going to be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. Yep. No way in hell he's abusing her. Okay, that, and there, there we go. You see the, uh, and, and I was wondering about the garbage bags. That makes sense now. Hmm. She's just totally shut in here. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but 
can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgan. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd Morgana go? I should write something. Oh, man. Things are getting pretty crazy. Pretty crazy, guys. All right. Obviously. Okay, yeah. Wait till tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense. All right. Yep. Were you just going oh. to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? You made it, Morgana. Take it the chief told you about Futaba. And then you guys disbanded in relief for now? How'd you know that? Uh-huh, he heard everything. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Young? Well, she's probably about the same age as you guys. At least her voice was pretty young sounding. Oh, and she had long hair too. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Just who is she? Well, we obviously know who she is, but... In any case, we'll <clears throat> need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjed. Let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. I wonder if Sai's gonna end up helping us at some point. <clears throat> Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Are you surprised? That should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Of course not. <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. All right. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Oh, there we go. We built, we, uh, rank up. Nice. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Yep. Let's get to it. Seriously? Holding an emergency meeting right when summer break is starting? I guess they need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that don't hurt the school's reputation, spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. Medjid's statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. It could be just a joke. There's talk that this could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. I wonder if they're going to target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. It's what I'm looking forward to most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from my exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjid's after. <sighs> this is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. You're right. Yep. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Morning. Hey, stacker. Hmm? Is there something over there? Come on, let's go. We're going to be late. Assembly had me bored to tears. <laughs> oh, they got Big Bang Burgers. Nice. And Ryuji's got some, uh, some, uh, manga. Huh? 
Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. Yeah. <laughs> you really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. <coughs> well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. The pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. It is definitely uh, unique. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like. Or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? I, I think we owe it to her. Knowing she needs help. Let's do it. Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? right? We don't know what the palace, what form it's going to take. Let's <coughs> try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? I hope so. That has to be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? Who knows? Sure, live up to my expectations. Nice. All right, rank up with Morgana. Allows you to craft and and all infiltration tools. All right. Yes. Awesome. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. I wonder. Okay, we'll have to try to get now. Now, now no, I know what that last keyword that workbench is going to be. We can we can uh, probably make uh, lockpicks now. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Maybe an oasis? What about a computer simulation? Nothing so far. In that case, how about hell? Thank goodness it's not that. We nearly enough clues. If only we could ask her directly. We can't. Come on, let's go see Futaba. Hmm. But what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. We're sneaking in, <laughs> Ryuji. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, and I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. 
is our only choice, right? I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Very well. Let's do this. Hmm. All right. Let's see what we can unearth here. This do not is enter. Futaba <laughs> chan. You're in there, right? Yes. Oh, she's definitely in there. Where else would she be? There's no answer. Futaba chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? Hmm. You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Hmm. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. Maybe the keyword is her mother's name? You don't have to show yourself. Just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay, All there right we go. Then. We're getting somewhere. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. What do you want to hear? What's this house to you? A house is a house. Looks like you should ask something different. What do you want to hear? Um. Yeah, what's this house look like? Looks like you should ask. All right, well, how's it feel living here? It's painful. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks like it's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like Why not go out? I can't leave this place. I'm going to die here. Uh, die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? Wow, morbid. You think that's it? Maybe Try that's it. Tomb. Oh yes, that's Input it. Accepted. Searching for route to destination. Oh we boy, this will be interesting. Was that enough? Yes, it was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Hmm. I haven't. We made a deal. All right, let's well, do then, this. Let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Oh boy. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Okay, this is weird. It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our clothes are still the same? Oh, no. Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. Hmm. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kanashiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My <laughs> paws will get burned. Time to go turn into car mode, Morgana. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. 
All right. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> they're chilling. It's stuffy. <laughs> yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. <sighs> hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <laughs> How are the guys? Oh. oh my goodness. Take this! Morons. Is that it? There we go. Man, look at this place. This is crazy. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. <laughs> the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. What was that? You want to fight, punk? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hmm. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. It's probably not much better in there, but maybe a bit. Oh man. Alright, let's uh, first of all, oops. Yeah, uh, let's take a look at our party. Um, Morgana and I, I guess we'll start start with this party yep start with this okay let's uh I'll yeah just save this. all right let's see what we can do it seems indeed who knows what may await us within? What's your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Let's do okay. it. Yes. At least we can go right in, right? Whoa. Nice inside. It's this place air conditioned or something? Maybe because Futaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Huh. Our clothes still haven't changed even now. This has never happened to us before. What to do? It's refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat, but we are completely surrounded by walls. I guess this is a tomb. It's probably not made to be easy to get into. Anyway, let's explore. Hmm. All right, let's see. Can we interact with this stuff? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, up the stairs we go. Oh, wow, okay. Um, okay, I guess we're going across. Yep. This is amazing. These stairs go pretty far. There's way too many. Don't ask for too much. You should be happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. Already? What? These stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. I wonder if that's where the treasure waits. Let's go. Well, time to climb then. <laughs> yeah, uh... 
a little worried about how easy this feels so far. Hey. Mm. Oh, hey. yeah, she does want us to come in, but I don't think... I don't think it's going to be that easy. It's beautiful. Do you Are think these so? doors? No. Okay. Yeah. Forgot we can do that. Oh, there's someone there. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. Hey, where's the treasure? Oh boy. It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Hmm. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? <sighs> this is going nowhere. <sighs> Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? Oh dear. She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. That doesn't Perhaps sound good. this is that Sundere thing where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say oh something? Oh boy. Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's all your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't just stand there, say something! Oh boy. That's right. I did it. What? Oh boy. I am the one who killed my mother. I... What is happening? What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Okay. There we go. Now gets game on. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This again? You killed her! You're a oh, man. Murderer. Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed mom. I don't deserve to be alive. Yeah, see, I... Okay, that... That's what it is. I don't think she actually killed her. No, that... She believes she did, but I don't think she did. This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right. Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Something to help me! Hmm. Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? Oh no! Dum -da -dum -da. Dum -da -dum. <laughs> Run, Indy! Oh my goodness! Okay. We're safe. That was too close. Wait. Now what? Even if we wanted to ask Futaba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more and then come back? Good idea. Right. Then let's retreat for now and return to the palace another day. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> the date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. So we got less than a month, guys. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber-terrorism?
In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Yep, three weeks. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. So the 19th, okay. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. I'm all for that. Sounds good. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout then? We must take care not to be discovered by boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Huh. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look. Oh my goodness. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Oh my gosh. The pyramid's golden ratio was <laughs> truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman after all. <laughs> it's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <laughs> <sighs> Will we be all right like this? Your hideout has moved from the Shibuya Teikui building to the y Yongin Cafe. Okay. Yep, good. Oh, hang in there, Futaba. We're coming. Oh, my goodness. Mom. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really going to help us do something about Medchad? Do they truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Medjet will definitely make a move. Okay, so for, for, yeah, she could be in it. She's in our messages. Alibaba, I'm checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba, can you really do something about Medjet? Of course. Unfortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you. All right, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then. Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. I have concern for Futaba herself during all this. Man, why'd this have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Stacker Coon, as always, we'll, we'll leave it to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. Yep. Okay. Well, when we get control. Hey, listen up. This is horrible. The fan site is gone. Oh, so that's what Alibaba did. I try to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think it's because of Medjed? No, it's Alibaba. Huh? Who's Alibaba? Anyway, that's supposed to be Medjed's doing. Is this supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering for the Phantom Thieves? But wait, they're totally jumping the gun. There's still time until the cleanse. Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think it's a virus? Oh! What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything's back to normal. Sorry for making a fuss about all this. I'm going to try to look into a little more, though. See you. Was that Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Yep. Talk about a crazy thing to pull off. All right. Let's see. Okay. You could probably make three? Okay, yeah. I want to make three. I want to make, uh... Can we not, uh... Oh, okay. 
Wait. Perma lockpick. We don't have any of those. Lockpick. These we can make. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we can only make three. Yes. Definitely getting better. I can tell you just yeah. by watching. All right. Now, does that make time pass? We'll see. It may. Oh, that Whoa. works on our proficiency. Nice. Okay. All right. So that does take time. That's good, though. That may be something we need to be doing in the evenings. If we want Futaba's help, we're going to have to steal her, her treasure by the day before the deadline. So we have to find the treasure by the 18th and send the calling card by the 19th. It's up to you when we go back to the palace, but keep the deadline in mind, all right? Change Futaba's heart has been begun. Try to steal your target's heart by the deadline. Right. Okay, mission start. Yes. Infiltrating mementos. Requests will appear on the Phantom Aficionado's website as rumors of the Phantom Thieves spread. Use the tips to track down targets and mementos. Exploring mementos and defeating shadows is an effective way to gain experience. Grow stronger by battling both rare and common shadows and mementos. Yes. Uh, okay, we got a lot of stuff to do right now. Who do we want to work? All right, let's, let's hold off on that. Um, do we want to do this? Okay. Um... I don't know, man. It's cool that we can make this stuff, though. That's good. What is this stuff? Info. A tool that allows you to return to the metaverse entrance. Oh. Interesting. Does that work with mementos, too? I'll have to test that out. Hypno mist? No. Yeah, I, I'm curious about this. We can make quite a few of those. What's I'm gonna up? test that out. Stop, yeah, I don't wanna. All right, okay. Uh, any change, we can get the doctor. We can talk, talk to Anne. Uh, Yusuke, Makoto, what's Makoto got going on? Just finish up some student council work. I have some things to take care of, and I'll be in the school's vicinity. Let me know if you need anything. Yep, let's go talk to, uh, Makoto. Hey. Oh, have you decided our plans for today? Let's hang out. Huh? Now? I guess if that's really what you want to do, is that part of your grand strategy? I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so I guess maybe? Maybe we should go hey. to Metaverse? Yes. Okay, maybe we should do that. Yep. Hey. I hope you still recall the details of our new battle tactic. Huh? Battle tactic? Oh, you mean the stuff we talked about before the summer festival, right? Yep, still got it. Very good. What's up? What are you guys talking about? We're simply discussing how important how it's important to spice up our battle tactics here and there. What did you say? Spice up your Eh, don't worry about it. We've got something crazy to show you later. All right. All right. There we go. Maybe I'm we should... I'm honestly surprised at the palace this time. Everywhere we looked was just desert. Oh, yeah. All the other ones until now have just been normal cities outside of the distortion itself. Thanks to that, we didn't even know we were in a palace our first time going into Kamoshida's. That's still part of the palace, though. The city may not have been distorted, but it was cognition. The palace rulers may have been criminals, but they were social enough to know the city layout. But Futaba probably doesn't. No. In fact, I'd bet she isn't even interested in the outside world. Hence why the whole thing is a bleak desert. Understandable, considering her lifestyle. I doubt many famous criminals are shut-ins like her, though. Hopefully that means we won't have to go through all this desert business in the future. That might not necessarily be the case. Many upper-class citizens travel by limo or plane, so they don't know or care about city life. Hmm. A plane? Damn. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't you want to go to a palace way up above the clouds if you could? <laughs> totally. I think a flying bank is quite enough, thanks. I have to say, though, the topic of the area outside the distortion is fascinating. Depending on the criminal, there may be an exact replica of Tokyo within their palace. Mm. I would love to examine the aesthetics of such a strange place at least once. Huh. You don't got a damn thing but art in that head of yours, huh? 
<laughs> there are worse things to have in your head, so. But it's true that an observant criminal could have a true to reality city in their palace. Although even if such a place did exist, it's not like we'd have any use for it. All right. So, well, let's save. Yeah, I think so we could go explore Mentos. Get some experience. Um, I wonder I'm wondering if we could go Hey. Remember correctly, we have some intel on a possible target. Let's check on that before we head into Mementos. Few requests. Total, today seems like a perfect day for us going into Mementos. Let's check our intel. Listen up. This. The intel's on an online stalker burning with jealousy because the man she loves has been taken away. Seems she's a shujin shujin. Her delusions are really getting out of hand. She's even writing how she's going to kill them. Aww. But don't stop her. She might actually do it. We need to figure something out before that happens. Okay. Listen up. Intel on an elderly man who's been harassing people at Harmony Alley in Kijoji. He snatches people's orders, picks fights, and causes a scene by claiming he hit and demanding money. Come on. The list goes on. <sighs> oh, and. One more thing. Sounds like he gets severe joint pain on rainy days. I wonder why he doesn't just stay home and behave himself if it's really that bad. <sighs> So he still goes out and hurts people despite all the joint pain. That's intense. Sure, let's go. Okay, let's change his heart so that he can relax already. Yes. Posted the calling card in Harmony Alley. I'm sure the old man's seen it by now. No objections, yeah. right? All right. Okay. I did. All right, so we've got two. We've got two. All right. Yep. Hey. No, we got time. Let's go. Okay, let's go. We have time. Let's do this. This will get us a little bit of experience. Okay, so I can sense some restlessness coming from below us again. Oh yeah, this happened before too. If remember and right, the metaverse nav. Yep, we got something. Oh, the new area is unlocked now, it seems like. Okay, good. A new area has been confirmed yep. in the depths. Updating guidance information. All right, so we'll try that How first. How much bigger is this place going to get? Yo, Mona, can't you turn into some kind of high-powered radar or something? <laughs> you know how deep it goes if you could? That's impossible. It would be dangerous to wander blindly. We simply do not have enough information. Just driving around won't likely do us any good either. Yeah, but the path keeps going forward. We'll reach the depths eventually, I think. <sighs> again. I'm curious about what might have happened. We should go investigate, Joker. Mm -hmm. Guess something to do with heat. I don't know exactly. Come on, man. Yeah, so we don't know what the heat wave right. is gonna cause. Let's start today's job. All right. All right. I should write okay, something. Okay. Yep. Let's save. All right. Mimitos overview. Yeah. Enter. Whoa. Um. Start part way in. Let's do that. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Cool. It shows us. All right, it shows us this per one person is here. The next person is is there. Ah, okay. So it could be anywhere in there. I I wonder if we should try hmm Here and then go down. I don't because uh, we don't know if this person's going to be in area five or area two. If 
we go to four, we may miss. So let's start here and, and go down. And we'll just work our way down through as quickly as possible till we get to the area. That'll that's probably the best bet. All right. Oh, I forgot to change groups. I wanted to make sure we had uh, use K in, but with a uh, Ryuji. But that's all right. We'll switch. Okay, let's work our way down until we find the first objective. Yep. Grabbing some materials, of course. Flowers. Joker, oh, treasure chest. chest. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way... Items... I was trying to see how much money we have, but I don't know. Okay. Some more flowers, of course. Dead in. Yep, grab all these things. Now we actually have a use for all these materials because we can make... We can make the uh, I think today was the sale day at the super infiltration game. tools, so Your that's good. Is that tight? Uh, focus on the job for now. The right, platform. There we go. Good. Let's keep working our way down. Do, do, do. And the person we we're looking for here might be past uh past pot spot four or floor four, but. Nope, we're gonna have to go buy. These things should be low enough level to where they they don't aggro on us, but unless we go right on top of them, of course. Grab all the flowers. And the next time we come across uh, Josie, we'll have to look and see if he offers the will seeds. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Open the chest. Actually, probably should have waited. That would have been probably best because this is a uh, higher level. We probably want to save our lock picks that we do have for I like start a hobby, broaden my horizon. Higher level enemy areas, you know. Or so perhaps yeah. there. Ah, cycling, huh? Yep. Keep going. Good. Keep rolling through. It doesn't take too long to get to each, through each floor, so. Because it's our target. Okay, good. Glad, glad we chose this. And I'm curious. I'll have to look it up later. But I'm curious if when you get to an area, if it's random where they show up, you know, or uh, or if it's designated as a set area once you zone in, you know. Do not know. City heavy armor. Those at this point are probably just stuff that we can sell. I don't think they're going to be uh, upgrade equipment for us. Thick parchment. Ah, here we go. Is this the sound of wind? All right. Huh? Then yep, let's do it. The old man must be Ono. Oh Let's stop him before he causes any more trouble for others. Yes, sir. Let's do it. What the hell? Do you have some problem with me, Heiji Ono? Come on. That's the first thing out of his mouth. But it seems like this is the old guy who's making trouble in Kichijoji. Nice. Nice. I can tell you're annoyed even with your masks on. That shows how interested you are in me, Heiji Joni, right? How unsightly. He's certainly disturbed. Let's hit this. Beat you down. Let's, let's do it. The old man's a gangster, man. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Okay. Let's see how he uh payback time, kid. The opponent is strong. Don't do anything reckless. Okay. Persona. Let's try uh this. There. Nope. Come on. Ooh. Uh. Oh boy. Yes, that's good. Persona! Try lightning. No. Nope. 
Yep. Wind. He's pretty low level, so it's not it's not bad. Let's try this. Yeah, that's cool. We'll just beat him down, man. He's composed. Not for long, sucker. There we go. Good. Decent money and experience, even though he is kind of low level to us. All right, Mona, level thirty. I knew I was wrong. Whenever I do something stupid, my family would worry about me. My son usually treats me like I'm worthless, but he would care for me in those There's times. There's no other way. It felt so good that I started seeking that kind of affection everywhere. I ended up causing so much trouble. Hmm. An unfortunate consequence of isolation. Yeah, sorry. I've caused so much trouble. How am I supposed to live like this? By apologizing. I'm so No, the important thing is to start making up for it. That's true. From now on, instead of taking it out on others, you should communicate your needs directly to your family. Tell them you're lonely before it's too late. Let me make it up to you. There we go. All right, one down. A nuisance belt. Okay. It's going to be ex an accessory, of course, but... Hey! Yep, let's keep going. Yep. And I don't think we can save here, no. Okay, let's get going and then uh yep now we work our way down grab that oh that's interesting just a dead end there sweet we found the do, do, do. Yeah, we'll save here. And I wonder... Right. I wonder if we can... Quick travel. Let's see. Go to a lower area. Well... Alright, let's save. This. Now. Yeah, let's take uh, Morgana out. Let's bring in Yusuke so that Yusuke and uh, Ryuji can do their ability. Let's do that. Yep. Lower area. Okay, yeah, it just goes down one. Ah, there we go, Josie. Oh, we're not going to have near as many flowers to spend. Uh, we can, however... Uh, look and see if he's still got those will seeds up for sale or if that's that's just a random chance you know find out okay good we made it to the platform we can get to the hmm. next area now no we need it before we go down though I want to go check it's probably gonna be this way. Yep. I've been donating blood quite often lately. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I have mister. All right. Hey, mister. So items. Let's see. These obviously we want. Yeah. So he still has the seeds. That's good. Um. I think though. You know what? Magic, agility, luck. Let's buy one of these. Yep. Yep. That's good. All right. Doing good. Yeah, might as well use make use of those flowers, right? And we'll save those uh, those items that permanently increase character stats till later. Give us an idea of where we want to use them. All right. Good deal. Yep, we gotta work our way down to the next, uh, next biome. For lack of a better word. There's a powerful enemy there. On days marked by a heat wave, the shadows and mementos will occasionally have burn at the start of the battle. Furthermore, some special negotiation options are only available during a heat wave. You can now use Shadow Calculus. 
You can see which skills the shadow possesses, as well as its item drop in the analyze screen. All right. Gunshots won't work, so try um, something else. Fire? I mean, ice. Hit the enemy's weak oh, I don't have any ice. Uh... Okay. Well, we can do a technical. Let's do that. Because he's got burn on him. Nice. Well, GG, sir. Nice work, team. All right. They were nothing. They were nothing. Yep, grab all the things. And no... Yeah, no, uh... No chest here. I need to go get those... That flower. Alright. Yep. Yeah, this stuff is way lower level than us, so... Alright. And the path of Chim does where our next target is. Now we'll keep an eye out for where our objective is. Okay. And of course these are still too low level to really... Uh, be alert to us. So. Do, 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 do. Oh, nope. Thank you. Give me all the loot. We are never afraid to pick up loot. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yep, keep going. Alright. Let's see. This way. Oh, they run from us. Funny. Not only did... Oh, what is that? Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. Curse Magatama. So there you go. So we do have some items that we can use. On, uh... On enemies. If, if we don't currently have a persona that can... We're at the platform. Damn, hit their vulnerability. Um, we can use an item. So we've got some various different ones like that. All right, Josie, you're down here. We'll see if we can pick up another uh, item. We don't quite have 80 yet, but we'll get there. Uh-huh. Get the items. That's what I'm talking about. Well, there's Josie right here. Any flowers? Nope. We'll come back, buddy. We'll come back. Uh-huh. All right, let's get this done. Mm. You're pretty pumped up. <laughs> you kind of sound like a kid, though. All right, we'll take this guy out. All right, the first move is ours. Yeah, he's only level 18. Oh, he blocks that. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, Weak. Oh, that's good. Now we can do it. Yep, that's good stuff. Yep. That's what I'm talking about, ma'am. All right. <laughs> no match good. Me. Still trying to see if we can find. Uh, right, that's a dead end, right? Yep. All right. I 
guess we'll have to go. Actually, we got something up here. Let's go check. We're looking for one more flower pickup to be able to buy another uh, stat item. Let's see if we got eh, nothing in here. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I guess we're going. Oh, it's okay. This way. There we go. Now we're cooking. Oh, mister. Hey, mister. Now, that's probably sold out. Yeah, well, we can pick up the other ones, though. Oh, we have 79. Oh, my goodness. That's hilarious. 79. All right. Well, so much for that. Hope we run into each other again. Me too, especially since we need more flowers. So I guess every time you come into Mementos, the stock is reset. I see the platform. All right, going down. We may still come across Josie. He can spawn further down. Okay. All right, let's save. I should write something. Actually, let's just save it on the same one. All right. Let's go. We got this already, right? Yep. There we go. Now if we find Josie, we're in good shape. All right. Dead end. All the good stuff. Uh, the Down we go. There we go. There's Josie. Yep. It's so funny that they run from me. All right, there we go. Yep. Oh, mister. Hey, mister. I guess we'll take the magic one. Yep. Very good. Yeah. So we'll, we'll hang on to those. All right. Treasure chest spotted. It's locked. I think we'll hold on to our keys, though. Um. Let's wait until we start getting into deeper depths with higher level you stuff. Really do have a unique team. Yep, this one we'll take, of course. Yep. Elder's armor. Okay. Lifestone, that's good. I think th I think lifestones are actual healing items, right? Um Yeah, thirty percent of hit points. Okay. I like that it's percentage based because they'll also always have a. Uh, here we go. Oh, a treasure chest. They'll always have a use. Yep. Dizzy vial. Bless Makatama. That's good. Okay. Come on, Mona. Pedal to the metal. Let's burn this place up. Leave it to me. Try not to get thrown out. Yep. And down. And then this one. This should allow us to go to the to the next area, which we've never been in yet. Oh. Oh, she's smirking. That's kind of creepy. Hmm. Her blog is full of our crazy thoughts. She must be lost in some sort of sick romance fantasy. Shouldn't we do something about it before she can hurt anybody? Okay, let's go. Yep. All right. So here we go. And then we can go down. What's going on? What are you Phantom Thieves doing? I know you'd... I know why you'd go after Kamashita, but why me? Uh, I don't blame you for falling in love, but there's a point where it goes too far. You. You're the witch trying to steal 
Ikisuji Khan away from me. What did you say? Who are you calling a witch? And I'm not interested in Ikisugi. Hmm. You're just a sore loser hanging out with some lame guys and a funny looking animal. What, was that? what did you say? Oh, that's interesting. Huh? Oh wow. Five not as five nights at Freddy's on steroids here. Okay. The opponent is strong. Do Let's try like nuke You're damage. Mine. Nope, nothing there. Go, go. Stagnant air, huh? Oh, oh, no, but she's stunned. Persona. Persona. Fire. Nope. All right. Persona! Technical, yep, might as well. All down. Nice. Incredible Joker. <laughs> this will end it. Nope, that didn't end it, that's for sure. Nice. Nice going, Squirrel. This might end it. Finish up. Nope, not quite. Are you ready? Oh, here we go. Combo. Move. Showtime. Oh, well, hey, first time seeing this one. The usual. Oh my of goodness. What a I master! My soul into this bowl. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's I'm funny. Trying to eat here. That's great. I love it. <laughs> nice. And level 30. Good. Your repertoire is growing. I got a new power. Uh, medium chance to put foes to sleep. Um, we're actually going to just forget this one. Yeah, we don't need that one. Okay, that's fine. Good, couple of persona what levels up. Done? You'll understand someday. Just tell them face to face and don't write weird stuff in your blog. It'll take Thank courage you. though. Well. All right, there we go. Sticky hairball. All right, so those the side areas are done. Let's uh, work our way down and get, what we want to do is get the uh, beautiful. Don't you feel like the whole world approves of when you when you think these things open? For a second, but then I think how there are more of these walls waiting ahead. All right, so what we'll do is work our way down, fight a little bit, but we'll get to the next rest area. So we have that travel point. Yep, should be a little tougher. Um, maybe not quite our level yet though. We'll see. Uh, we may in the meantime. Wow, it's kind of dark and gloomy. Yeah, they're still not coming after us, so we're Enemy we're good. Ahead. Be careful. We're kind of okay. There's three chests in here. I approve. Ice Magatama. Okay, good. Yeah, we want all these. Yep. Alert capsule. Found us. Oh wow! Well, okay, so they're they're high enough them. now to uh, to come after us. All right. Shadows. Residents of the metaverse, but there are those like them in the real world too. All right, good. So let's see. We've got all that. So we got over here. That's a dead end. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's certainly something we'll be happy to get. How many of those do we have? We have four now. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to need quite a few more of those to, to build up our experience bonus. So keep plugging away. Yes, sir. Oh, we need to go up. Yep. That's our next area. 
have a unique team. It's hard not to stand out at school. If we blend in with the bustle of the city, it won't. Yep. Another stamp. That's good. That'll be five. So there's 20 floors to this next area. So we probably have to get to floor 10, maybe? Before we have a, a rest area? Let's see how this goes. Oh, yes. This we want. That we definitely want. Okay. Hey, that's a rare one. Don't let it. Persona. Yep. All right. Sigh. That's good. Good, good. Mm hmm. They're all knocked down. That was incredible, Joker. Hmm. Okay, guys. Ready to do it. All right. It's a good start to battle. Oh, did it kill him? Yes. Good. I okay. approve. Man, that all right. Was easy. Man, that was easy. I don't know about that, sir. They saw us. It's all right. No We're good. We're good. No fighting necessary. We're still able to avoid them. Yeah, we'll go back to that door in a minute. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Moseying right along. Okay, so that loops us back around. Okay, good to know. Yeah, I can't see a damn thing. No. Oh, wow. Interesting uh, layout in this tunnel system. All right, let's go ahead and fight these. Let's see what level of these guys are now. So we're in floor two of this next area. 21. Okay. Um, he's fire, but I can't do... I can just attack him and beat him. Yep, that'll finish him. Go get him, Ryu. Well, on to the next trial. Yeah! Victory! Okay. Bum, bum. <laughs> they were nothing. Head for the depths. I yep. see the platform. Nice. Another, uh... It's good to know that we can get these stamps, these stars, uh, randomly as well. So it doesn't seem like there's an exhaustible amount of them, which is great. The last place had eight areas, so I wonder if this one will be just as big. We're only in the third area. I suppose the leisure ride will continue for a long while longer. How is it supposed to be leisurely? Cut up some slack. Yusuke just wanted to say something cool. All right, let's so get to moving on. Still should be okay as far as, uh, enemy level. We've been spotted. Yep. Let's deal with them before more arrive. Wow, we were able to avoid him without... Yep, okay, that's good. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good in... Ah! Wouldn't let me get it. I guess because we were in combat. Okay, All right. Rise. Are weak, but be careful. Come on. Okay. All right. Gunshot should hit. That's good. I like it. Watch out. Good. We got done with you. Very nice. One enemy remaining. I don't think you have any skills that will hit its weakness. Doom to doom. Nice! Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Get dunked. So good. So good. Of course for you, geez. Well, and use case for that matter. Would, would entail food. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what we get. Exorcism water. Okay, so you're not guaranteed to get anything super good. I mean, exorcism water is okay, but let's deal with them before there's more trouble. This will be a cinch. What is this? Sleuthing instinct. Whatever sleuthing instinct kicks in at the start of battle, you would deduce information about an enemy's affinity. If many, if may reveal even reveal enemies' weaknesses to you, check the analysis screen. Okay, yeah. So we got. Let's end this quickly. Weak to nuclear. Okay, well, we got that. Out of the way. Here he comes. 
Well, on to the next trial. Yeah! Victory! Okay. And done and done. Done and done, sir. Yep, we're going up. Definitely want all these. I guess we're going to ambush you before you attack us. Let's go. You can hit their weak point? Yep. That's good. Easy peasy. Joker, a treasure. All right, Ice Magatama. Yeah, I need to. I need to spend some more time uh, fusing personas to leveling up some personas. That's gonna be a thing. There we go. All right. Good. Seven stamps. We've got quite a few flowers, too. Oh, look at Josie. We can get that last uh, skill item up. I'm sensing a whole lot of treasure chests. Well, okay. I'm, I'm all about the treasure chests if you got some. Cork bark. Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah, we'll keep going. Mm-hmm. We're kind of getting to the point now where we're really going to have to take advantage of enemy's weaknesses because they're going to be close to our level. So there's a shot. Oh, should we take him out? Maybe. Let's try it. Let's see what this guy looks like. The first move is Level 26, okay. Like its weak point is an option. Out of the way! An enemy we should check its affinity. It isn't a major threat, but don't use electric attacks. Uh, Sai? We could try Sai. We don't know what that's going to do. Let's try it. Go down. Weak. Okay, that's good. Wow. Oh, that's not good. We got you. Yeah, victory. There we go. We got some levels there, man. Show me that move sometime. Medium physical damage to all foes. Um. Let's put that one in, I guess. Okay. I can. Uh, skill. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay. Yep. This way. Shadow. What do you want to do, Joker? We're gonna bypass him for now. They spotted us. Don't let them call for backup. You're telling me. I guess I could try to ambush him. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Good. Who are you, Weakling? You can hit their weak point. Let's go, Captain. You did it, Skull. If you do a baton pass, you might be able to hit their weakness. All right. Let's go. Maybe you can hit their weak point. Yep, yeah, that's good. 
Ooh, nice. Do not move a muscle. Do it. Do not move a muscle. Oh, maybe we should have tried to capture him. All right. Ha! Piece of cake. Now we grab this. Invincible Ofuda. That's an interesting one. I haven't seen that before, I don't think. Oh, nice. We'll take the stamp. Never complain about that. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, up and then the left there. Who do we have here? Okay. Oh, this is good. You can hit their weakness. Go down. Looking cool, Joker. It's time. You can hit their weak point. There. Joker took one out. Nice. Persona should work. Go down. Joker took one out. There we go. Can't hit the enemy's weak spot right now. What is it? Psycho, but... I don't think you can do... Joker does, though. Alright, Joker. You can do it. Okay. Man, that was easy. All right, all right. Let's see now. Uh, down. Yep. And we keep working. Working our way down. All right. We'll get to the way station here at some point. Rest area. Nice. There we go. Yep. All right. Yep. Let's rest up and then we'll head back. Well, I say rest up. Now that we got it unlocked. Mementos. Entrance. Yep. All right. Good stuff. Got our next uh, save spot. Or... Okay, let's go take a look here. Do you need something? How? The inmate. All right. Let's execute him. What path do you want? So, uh, this is a new one. Sure was on in Phoenix to make Zushichen. Let's try that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Increases damage after Bantan pass. All right, let's go, uh... That. That. Actually, it would be good to have uh, light curse damage to all four, medium curse damage to one. Let's do that. That might not be bad to have. Will it let's gain do that. new power? I wonder. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see what happens. Then let us begin. Strength Confidant is awakening its hidden power. Nice. Level up. Terror Claw. All right. Good. Yep. We'll wait on the rest of this. There are some other things here we can get. Like an Izanagi. 
Is that a key, I guess? That. Do you really need this? No. We'll wait. Okay. Are you finished? I am, ma'am. No slacking off. All right, good stuff. I'll just add this. All right, we're ready to head out. Something. Nope. What do you want to do? Yep, return. All right, good stuff. That was an uh, efficient trip to Mementos. Ah, you're back. Well, we got a new post about that old man who was stirring up trouble in Kajoji. Sounds like he and his son went around apologizing. It was like it was a totally different person begging them on our knees, knees for forgiveness and all. Glad it worked out. Yeah, the people in town are probably thinking the same thing. Great job. Mm. Just what it, what's Medjet's gonna do? It is hard for me to even fathom what it could be. People have really been up in arms about the whole cleanse thing. To think a global hacker group would be targeting us. Shouldn't be just ignore him. We have to act. Sure, but no matter how you look at it, we need a countermeasure. Our best bet would be Alibaba. But she may not be capable of it in her current state. I guess we should think of some other ways too then. Yes, it would be best to have as many solutions as possible. Well, we still got time, so let's come up with something good, okay? All right, Thieves Den updated. Very good. Um, I, I think, actually, I want to go up and make some more lock picks. Yeah, those would come in handy. Okay. Yeah. Yep, make it. Very good. <laughs> oh, we got an extra one. Nice. Okay. Yes. Didn't know that was a possibility. Yeah. And that's a good boost to our proficiency, which we need to... Oh, rank up. Perfect. Okay. We might be able to finish that burger now. All right. Yeah. Well, then. Very good. Who could that be at this hour? Since it's summer vacation, I'll be heading to LeBlanc tomorrow afternoon. The cafe is cool and quiet, and it's relaxing with the Sierra there. It's a peaceful place. I'm thinking of relaxing and reading a book. Moreover, we can easily meet up some should something occur. We can kill two birds with one stone. Don't worry. If you already have plans, I'll stop by and eat either way. If you'd like, we can spend some time together. Yusuke's coming tomorrow, huh? Must be night. Might be nice to hang out with him. Hey, one of your friends is here to visit. Yep. Inviting a confidant to your room. If confidants send you a message prior, they might visit LeBlanc. You can invite them up to your room to spend time with them. Okay. So we got that. Uh, might not be a bad idea. Wonder how we do that. Wonder if we're up here. Well then. Nice. Everyone's here. Um shoot. Well, I didn't necessarily want to do that, but Huh? I'm gonna go wander around for a bit. Drop me a line if something comes up. I wonder how we actually I'll just well, add this. Let's save. But I don't see how to actually contact him to tell him. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know what? It might not be a bad idea to try, uh... Let's go try it. I'm very curious if we can finish the Big Bang Burger now. Take the challenge. Yeah. Yep, let's do it. Thank you very much. Now then. All right, let's see. Now then. Oh yes, we did it. Fuck me, I don't finish it. Great. Oh. Congratulations. The first mate badge. And to the Burger Baron who defeated this challenge, present to you our four old famous Big Bang Burger on the house. Yes. Ooh, we got five of them. Please come again. I look forward to your next attempt. All right, that was good. I yep. knew you could do it. <laughs> so that'll build up more uh, proficiency, right? No guts. That's right. Nice. Knowledge. Sweet. Getting points up and a lot of stuff. That's great. Want yep. to head back? Yep, yep. Alright, that was good stuff. Rain, huh? Yamachi said he's gonna go drink it at that manja restaurant. You'll go with me to help investigate our undercover, right? I feel like my bond with you will grow strong soon. Yeah, let's go do it. Okay. All right. The teacher who's with him has stuff on me too. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay holed up in the bathroom. <laughs> Please, just leave your phone on so I can hear what they're saying. Wow, you can really hold your liquor, Liamachi. Hmm, I've had some experience. Back in my college days, we'd rent a yacht for the weekend and have passive parties. I must say, though, the sake's been tasting particularly sweet lately. No surprise there. Things have been much calmer without Kamashita. Those were some real dark times for Shujin, though, huh? But now that he's gone, you finally get the chance you deserve, Yamachi. Don't flatter me. <laughs> He had his strengths for sure, but because of him, our volleyball team will be forever scarred. The only real option now is to abandon it completely. Oh, wow. There has to be a way to bring Shujin back into the limelight, though. That's where I come in. You mean with the track team, right? The students who went through so much hardship under Kamashita rise again with a caring new advisor. It'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. Despite my lack of track and field knowledge, I'll form a tight bond with these students. I'll be the protagonist of my very own tearjerker. And of course, all the praise for reviving them will go to me, their incredible loving advisor. I'll have to hire a great coach if I want to pull this off, though. So you're going to pretend to coach them while someone else does all the legwork? Amazing, Yamachi. Such stunning achievements will look great when it comes time to hand out bonuses. But I'm not going to stop there, either. I'll publish books, give motivational speeches. Boy, he's got it all planned out, doesn't he? What about all the troublemakers on the team? I've heard that Nekoka kid is especially bad. Nekoka? Oh, you mean the one who asked them to bring the pre kamashita coach back? Don't worry, I've already taken care of him. There's this other boy on the team, Takeshi. Doesn't really excel much of anything. Well, I said I'd make it. I would make him the new captain if he could get rid of that troublemaker, Nekoka. Hmm. Might have mentioned something about how Nekoka was working with Kamashita too. Subtly, of course. And what ended up happening? Apparently, Takeshi chased him away. The plan worked perfectly. The best part is, not only are the Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother is the president of the PTA. I see. He'd make a great pawn. Perhaps. But a nothing like him could never captain a successful championship winning team. He may have to have an unfortunate accident at practice one day. But until then, he could show the others the value of obedience. Mm. Well, there we go. Damn it. Bad. 
we don't do something quick, Yamachi's gonna get rid of the Takeshi too. Dang it. Should we change his heart? I really wanna, but that's probably just mess up the track team's comeback. I don't want to cause them any more problems. So they're gonna have to decide on their own. Hey. You know, track ain't a team sport. At least sprinting wasn't. You've got teammates, sure. But you're really just looking out for your own time. That's why I never thought about asking people for help or trying to solve our problems together. And again. But I can't ignore the stuff they're going through now. I mean, even though we had our own goals and stuff, we were still running together. They suffered with me, gritted their teeth with me. Honestly, I think it was only because of them that I was able to run at all. <laughs> so I can't just go and turn my back on them now, right? I know that ain't the coolest thing to say, but it's how we feel. It's cool, Ryuji. E huh? Yeah. For real? Thanks, man. Nice. Okay. Rank up. Levels. When you encounter a weak shadow, you may destroy it immediately. Okay, right. instant kill's nice. That's cool. Wait. <laughs> Alright, that was cool. Good work today, man. Thanks for sticking out so late. Yamachi, that jerk. Just thinking about him pisses me off. At this rate, the track team's screwed. Yamachi's just gonna take advantage of them. But I also don't want to make a huge scene. I can't let myself mess up their chance to start the team again. Besides, I doubt those guys are gonna listen to anything I say. Never know until you try. That's true. Gotta have faith in them. Anyhow, at least we know the truth about him. We just gotta figure out our next move. That bastard Yamachi's munching on Manja like he's got us all figured out. He won't get away with this. In any case, thanks for any again for your help today. You seriously saved me. Our buddy, man. He's got issues, but he's a good guy. <sighs> Gonna hang out at your place tomorrow during the day. If I'm at the hideout, I can move whenever. Oh, I'll bring some manga, so you don't need to worry about me. All right, so, uh, yeah, so we can hang out with Ryuji, or so that's interesting. I gotta figure out how you actually, maybe, maybe they're actually sitting in the cafe, and we just approach him. I gotta look closer this time. Uh, oh, Kasumi. Favorite ask. Senpai, I have a favorite ask today. It's not really a gymnastics thing, but... Would you mind coming with me on a shopping trip? Yo. Hey, hey! Let's finish eating, and then we'll go talk to Kasumi. What are you doing? It's her again. How much longer are you going to make me wait? Do you not care about me reporting you to the police? Whoa, slow down. Just give us a little more time. I can't do that. We're trying our best here. If you truly cannot wait longer, go ahead and report us. Hey! Hmm, maybe I can give you a little more time. Maybe. <laughs> Alibaba doesn't know what's happening, so I'm sure she's getting anxious. We'll just have to try and appease her for a while. Yeah, we're not quite ready. Hey. One of your friends is here to visit. Okay, yeah. So we could do that. We could, uh... Yeah, we need to talk to, uh, Anne. I want to go see, though. Let's let's go see if Ryuji's here. Ah, there he is. Okay, so he's probably going to be sitting in the corner. I just didn't see him last time. All right, that's good to know. But I really... I think we should go talk should to Kasumi. All right, let's save. Yep. Let's do it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Sorry. Her poor phone. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Senpai? Sorry for dragging you out here. I need to get a pair of glasses. I've been wanting to come here for a while, but I never had the chance to drop by. You have bad eyesight? Me? Well, a little. I usually wear my contacts, though. But I'm not looking for a pair for me. I was hoping to find a good gift for my dad. You seem like a real glasses buff, so I wanted to get your advice. Could you try on a couple of pairs for me? I'd like to get some visual reference. Thank you so much. 
much. How about this pair? I think that's good. Oh, those are not bad. Yeah, what do you think? Pretty modern look. I know, it's so fashionable, and it's good that it helps you vision, too. Do they suit your dad, though? Hmm, right. Maybe a little too hip for my dad. But your input's been really helpful so far. Would you mind poking around? Of course. I'm counting on you. Pick up the pace. I see. You look like a salesman, but it doesn't feel right somehow. Oh, those are like low profile, man. Oh wow. my goodness. Oh I wow. A little star out of Hollywood, but if my dad wore them, he might look a little shady. Oh my this goodness. Is... Mm. A lot of them are good, but none of them have really clenched it for me yet. Trust your instincts. You know, you're right. I'm the one who has to make the call. I'm just going to go to gut feeling, but I'll pick this pair. I don't know how to describe it. It just seems perfect for my dad somehow. I'm sure he'll love it. Then it's set. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me here. I ended up with a great present. All thanks to you, Volgora Senpai. No problem at all. Well, I've got, still got to make it up to you. Let's go practice in the Inokashira Park this after this. Well, if I'm being honest, trying to pick out glass was really setting off my anxiety. All I could think of was what happened if I couldn't choose or if I chose wrong. I mean, I already failed in gymnastics and my cooking turned out bad, too. After cracking under pressure so many times, I kind of figured I'd just ruin everything again. The more I thought about it, the more empty I felt. Like I wasn't even me anymore. Everyone deals with that. So even you know how that feels, Volgar Senpai? It's not just me. Senpai? I think I'm starting to understand what my coach was telling me. It's easy to say you're in a slump and write yourself off. But maybe finding out who I really am is also about finding new depths to myself. It does make me feel a little down, but at the same time, I feel like I'm closer to getting my confidence back. Having your support makes me even more determined to make that happen. We'll work at it together. <laughs> this is strange. I don't know if I should be feeling like this. I want to give my best performance, but it's like I'd be doing it for you as much as for myself. Or something like that. I'm still working on myself, but I hope we can help keep each other too. Yep, very nice. Okay. Chain's hook allows you to ambush from a distance by attacking with the grappling hook ability. Okay, that's cool. All right. That's cool. Using your grappling hook will enable you to attack a shadow. All right, that's that'll be nice. Yep. To start a battle with your chain's hook, the enemies will begin the fight inflicted with dizzy, confused, or fear. Awesome. Okay. All right. Be heading home now. Good. Max health. Max health increased again. I approve. So I already gave my dad the glasses we picked out today, and it suits him even better than I imagined. He was so happy with them. I'm glad. Thank you. I think this helped me feel a little more confident. And thanks to you, I even feel like my gymnastics are going to get better now. Hmm. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Now. Ah, you're back. Got a message. Not much longer. Like a dragon. Wanna go see it now? Yeah, let's go hang out with Makoto. Let's do it. These summer days are nice, man. You can get a lot of stuff done. You try to cut ties with me, and you come back for more? I'll kill you! Oh. Boss! Boss! No! That bastard shot him! <laughs> Boss! Makoto's fists have been clinched the entire time. Whatever she said before about the director was probably just an excuse. She loves this stuff. More about the determination that Yakuza have. Nice, nice. All right. All right, guts rank four. <clears throat> That's good.
good stuff. You're right. That wasn't too bad. Um, do you think it's weird if a girl likes movies like this? It's so you. Well, really? Um, um, I'll take that as a compliment, I suppose. It takes a surprising amount of courage to admit that you enjoy something. Sorry that I called you over so suddenly. It felt weird watching a Yakuza film all by myself. Thank you. I had fun, though, thanks to you. I should right. write something. Save. All right, what we got? Plans for today? If we can go hang out with Anne. Um, we got till what the the fifteenth or something like that. So we have time. Yeah, let's go hang out with Anne. Okay. Hey. Let's hang out. You wrote that? We still haven't found the treasure. We have plenty of time. I guess there's no point in worrying if you're so sure. Strength that in my heart is turning out to be harder than I thought. Do you think we, maybe we could talk some more about it? All right. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> hey. Those ducks over there, they must be a family. This place seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Hey. You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are a ton of people and tons of stores, yet there are still duck-filled parks here, too. It has everything, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. It's honestly kind of scary. I know what you mean. You only moved here, Stacker. Hey. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded, and everyone walks really fast, almost like they're angry or something. Even at school, I was only ever the foreigner. Nobody really knew me. They just spread rumors. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. But that was when Shiho talked to me. The first thing she said was, Tamaka Taka Takamaki-san, your paintings suck. <laughs> That's hilarious. I thought she was just making fun of me like everyone else, but that wasn't her intention. <laughs> According to her, they were so bad at that that she just had to tell me. Pretty mean, huh? Still, that was the first time someone heard here talked to me without mentioning my looks. <laughs> we sort of just grew closer after that. She has been my best friend ever since. That's not why we're here, though. There's something else I need to talk to you about. Hey. You remember when I told you the last time we came here about that female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Tell me. It's gonna knock your socks off. Um. You know how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination? Well, even though they get beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. That means they must have really solid hearts. And that's why I'm going to try and learn from them. Um, how exactly? About that. Yes! I'm gonna star in action movies. Oh dear. That's not gonna work. What? But they might cast me as a villain. Alright, I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I never really thought about much about what I wanted to do in my life. But now I have an objective. Thanks. And that only happened because he's talking to you, Stacker. Thanks. Oh, dear. <laughs> Alright, sexy technique. Chance to grab the enemy's attention and cancel their action. Alright. Okay, alright. Good, good perks. Mm. Shio, yep. Yeah, tell Shio. I wonder how Shio's doing. I'd like to think, think I'm pretty athletic. Like, I don't hate exercise or anything, but I'm exhausted just from running to the station earlier. Maybe I've got train. I've got to train my body along with my heart. Do you do anything to train your body? I carry Morgana in my bag. Yes. That's part of your training? But I guess that's kind of amazing. I mean, you never seem to struggle with it. I wonder how much Mona weighs. Maybe I'll try carrying him in my bag next time. <laughs> okay, first I need to research what kind of training is best for me. For now, I'll just do some curls with a water bottle. There you go. That'll do it. Uh, Alright. You know who we There's haven't talked... There's still no oh. response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjet. 
What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. Mm, we'll see about that. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. Hmm. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. All right. It's so wet out. What we got? Housekeeping. Yeah, I was thinking about talking to her, but we may make some more lockpicks. Let's do that. Man, there's so much to do. There really is. Okay. Make five. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. I guess because our proficiency is so high. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well yep. In Shibuya now. What you up to? Um. All right. 